In this video, I'm going to show you how to rename the first party app provided by Microsoft within Dynamics 365 application. So uh, this is one of the application provided by Microsoft in Dynamics 365 customer service. So we have an app called as customer service hub. Now, if you see here, if, you, if I just click over here, uh, it will give me the list of apps which is currently present within this particular environment. And there are various first first party apps which gets installed as a part of installation. So I have an app called as customer service admin center. I have an app called as customer service hub. I have an app called as customer service workspace. And then there are other apps called as field service, project service, sales hub, solution health hub, dynamics 365 custom, connected field service, power pages management, so on and so forth. Uh, now, uh, the use case for this particular application is like, uh, I've seen that many organizations install customer service hub application to resolve uh, uh, or set up a customer service uh, center within their uh, premises. Uh, now, customer service hub application as a name doesn't uh, uh, imply a lot, okay? So take for example, if your organization has a customer service and you call it as customer care, uh, so then uh, it is wise to have this application when this application is rendered then let the user see uh, custom name provided by your organization rather than seeing the customer service hub so how do we go ahead and uh, rename this okay so first step what you need to do is like you need to go into this application okay and if you are an admin then you get sufficient rights to do that so you first click on this customer service hub uh, hyperlink on the top and then once you go over here now there are multiple ways i'm showing you just one of the option okay so you just click on this three dots and click on open in app designer okay now once you do that it will open the app in application designer uh, in make.powerapps.com and once you land in that screen there is an option to basically go ahead and change the name of that application now here once this page loads there is a button called a settings over here okay so once you click on settings then an interface will pop up which will allow you to change the name of the application and description and icon okay so i'll just go ahead and click on settings and here i can change the name of the app so let me change the name of the app as a girish customer care okay so let me name this as girish customer care and i can put some description okay so uh, i'll just say customer care center for resolving degree For resolving customer issues okay and i can even change the icon from here okay uh however i'm not going to do that but this is just to show you how to change the name of the application now the name is Kirish customer care and you don't see any save button over here okay so there's no save button in this particular window so you just go ahead and uh, close it okay the moment you do that you click on save okay now once you save it still you will not see any change happening in this particular interface so that's totally fine okay after you save you just click on publish okay once you do a publish all the changes will get persisted uh, however this interface will still show the old name okay so don't get confused with it now let us go into the application okay till the time it publishes let me go ahead and then do a quick refresh okay of the screen so let me close this and let me open it in a new window one called this d365 customer service hub application And now 
if you can see that the name of the application is changed to Gerish Care. Okay. Now, in your case, if it doesn't get a uh, refresh, then uh, I would recommend you to uh, refresh the page, give it a hard refresh in Microsoft Edge to do a Control F5. And then after doing that, this application name can be changed. Now, where all it has made the change. So if you again click on this particular hyperlink on the top, then again, it will take you to the, the uh, app section. And within the app section, you should be able to see the app name and the description which you had made the change on. Now, again, the position on the tiling will change because it is sorting by the, uh, the first uh, alphabet. Uh, so earlier it was in the first row. So I think now the name starts with Girish Care. So it starts with G. So that means it will move here in the bottom. Okay. So make sure that you understand all these things. And also it has captured the name and the description. Okay. Now let me go into make.powerapps.com. Uh, and if you are in the right environment, so the my environment is uh, customer service trial. So you need to go into the correct environment to see the list of application which is present within the current environment. So this is like uh, one of the other ways through which you can uh, view the application name. Okay. So let me select the right environment. And if you go in apps over here, here you will see all the uh, application which is present uh, within your tenant. So you can click on all and here you will see Girish customer care. Okay. Now from here also you can navigate and you can edit uh, the app. Okay. Edit a new tab and then again the same interface will open up. Uh, also, there are other things which you can see. You can go into the details and you can see uh, the name of the app, uh, the description of the app, the name of the app, the description of the app, when it was created, when it was modified uh, within this interface. Okay. So that's it, folks. This is how basically you change the app of uh, app name of the first party apps provided by Microsoft to suit your organization's need. Thanks for watching.